Hello and welcome back again to Wall Street Training's Advanced Financial Modeling Enhancements to the Core Model. This segment will be a fairly quick one. We're going to wrap in our numbers from the core model that we have built, the income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and let's go ahead and analyze our credit and leverage statistics, basically our financial ratios. This will be very straightforward and pretty clean cut. We will first grab in, turning to our Excel now, we will first grab in our selected items from the debt suite and the balance sheet for our capitalization ratios. Then we'll grab in our income statement profitability and we'll calculate our ratios based on those numbers. So why don't we just dive right in and get started and crank this baby out. Let's first go to, I'm going to zoom in again, and at the end, I will show you something pretty cool that will automate. Okay, so now that you have finished your ratios and checked your numbers, let's do the following. Go to the bottom of this tab, and I think what we've got here is something that is pretty cool. Take a look. This has now automatically updated and informed you what the rating is. In this particular case, we grabbed the S&P uh, median industrial rating statistics from 01 to 03, which was published in the uh, end of 04, beginning of 05. Uh, the new one should be out shortly. There's always a, a, a pretty long time lag. This is their uh, annual S&P corporate rating action cr uh, criteria guidebook or whatever it's called. You can find it on their website. And so therefore, we grab in the correct, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the ratios, the selected ratios that were applicable to us. And of course, you can easily expand this and come with your own criteria, whether you're looking at it from the rating agency's perspective or from your own internal credit evaluation, whatever your own internal company, division, or department's criteria is. And so you will look at this, and this automatically tells you that right now Walmart is rated between an A and a double A. And if you recall from our company overview, our company overview where we constructed a very short, quick financial summary and trading statistics analysis, when we did that, what did we do? We looked at the uh, ratings for S&P and Moody's, and they sure enough were right or in this area. I think it was double A. Now, here's the cool part about this, though. You don't want to have to go here and change and change the shading every single time. You cannot get rid of this shading. This is what we're doing. Go to cell F55, and at this point, I want you to watch my screen. You don't necessarily need to see the numbers per se, so I'm going to leave it out at this particular zoom percentage. Take a look at the dynamicness. Again, I personally think it's pretty cool. I hope you agree. I'm going to go to F55 and just do the following. You don't necessarily need to follow along. I'm going to go to F55, and I'm going to type in 25. And I'm going to hit control enter so I stay at the same cell and watch. It automatically updated and told me that it will be rated triple A or better. Now, the next one is 13.6 and uh, the threshold. So let me just type in 20 somewhere in between and hit control enter and it automatically flips and tells you what it is. I'll go 10, control enter, and sure enough, it continues to move. Now I'll do 5, I'll do 3, just finding whatever numbers are in between the ranges, 0.5, and then finally, let's say 0.3. And there you go. It automatically tells you what it should be rated. Now I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that so I don't lose my actual numbers, and there you go. And that is why this I-37 is highlighted in white because that's the numbers that we brought down here for my EBIT interest. Just so that you don't think that I'm blowing smoke here, let me do this uh, for my, let's say, next one, total debt divided by EBITDA. Here you go in the opposite direction. You want this number to be as low as possible. Not necessarily as low as possible, but you want it to be lower so that it shows that you can uh, fund your uh, potential debt liabilities with EBITDA within a year or two years uh, if it's one to two times. So in F57, let's go the other way around. Triple C rated, if you're 7.4 above, so let's put eight. Sure enough, only that gets selected, then six, then five, then three, then two, then 1.5, and then 0.5, and then let's say zero, and voila, there you go, you are golden. This is pretty cool. As you update your numbers, this entire thing at the bottom will continue to update. You can also, expand this by putting in more of your criteria as long as you have the ranges between the ratings. 